Alright guys, Rad DJ Snye here and we are going to do our first video review and in the box I have two Shure PGX wireless microphones with the transmitters, the receivers, and the power cables. So I'll open these up and show you what they look like. Alright, so here they are opened up um, each box, as you can see, there's your receiver here and there, your microphone which is here and here, and they both have the SM58 tips on them, and then here and here you've got compartments for little extra batteries. I have two in each of the mics right now, and two backups in the case, just in case I would need them. And up here, on each side, we have a power supply, so you can power the trans, not the transmitter, the receiver. Alright, so here we are. We're going to take a little bit of a closer look at the mics. Right here, this is your wireless mic, and this is the transmitter. It is a PGX2 transmitter with your Shure SM58 cartridge on the top. Up here you have the receiver. Now if you look at the receiver, it is the PGX4 receiver. You've got two antenna on the receiver and if you zoom in a little bit, you've got your channel button so you press that and it will scan through the channels and get you a channel and your sync button so you can sync your mic with the receiver. Alright guys, so right here is the transmitter. I'm going to show you a couple things about... Yeah. Alright guys. Okay, so right here is our receiver. It receives the signal from the microphone itself. So, if we look right here, this is the mic. Oops, let me switch it around. So, it's the PGX2. You hold this down and on comes a green light. Press it again, the light changes to orange. That means it's on mute and I can tap on it all I want. We're not going to get any noise out of it. So that's how you mute the mic. You can also do power lock where you hold the on button down for 10 seconds and it will lock the power in place. When you power lock the unit it makes it so that nobody can turn it off by accident by pressing the button when they come up to it. So that's great when I'm at shows. So, if we look down here, here's our battery compartment. It just takes two regular AA. You can do rechargeable ones if you want. I'm actually thinking about upgrading to rechargeable ones because it would be more convenient and I don't have to keep buying these all the time. So, I'll close that up. Now, here again is the receiver. Now, if you want to find a channel, you press this once, and it does its little thing. If you want to find a channel, you press the channel button, does its little thing, finds a channel. Channel 22 is the best channel. And then you turn your microphone on. You get your mic, you point it at the receiver, and hold down this button over here, which is the sync button. So I'm going to hold down the sync button, and you see that red light flash on the mic, and that means this microphone here is now synced with this receiver here. So you can talk into it, and it'll do everything that you need it to do. This receiver here, it's a nice receiver, it's got two antennas, so if one loses signal, you've got the other one, and it won't drop out as much. Um, the thing I would have liked on here is the volume knob, so you can adjust the volume of the mic, but that's not too bad, I can live without that. It's really only for MC purposes anyway, so there's really no point in having it. Sometimes I'll use it for live, but not too often. If you look on the back, you've got your quarter inch 
and your XLR outputs, whichever one you want to use, you can use one or the other. They both work, and they both work great. I've used both of them before. Alright, now the last thing I'm going to show you is if you go like this, there are two parts that twist off. You can twist off the grill up here, or you can come down here and twist this off. And this is actually your SM58 mic cartridge. So you can see down there, it'll screw in. And if you look right in there, there's the negative 10 decibels and the zero decibel switch. If you flip it to the negative 10 decibels, the mic won't be as loud. So that's pretty much your volume control on the mic. Alright, so as an overall look at the unit, works great, can take a little bit of a beating. Not too much of a beating, but it gets the job done. You've got to be careful because it is a very expensive wireless microphone, but if it gets dropped it won't get damaged too bad. These run about $400 online. I got these a little bit cheaper. I got both mics for 200 bucks. The only issue is this one's got a little bit of a battle scar. Don't know what happened there, but whatever. It works. So that one is actually for this one over here. It's a good solid mic. I'd give it probably for ratings out of 10, 10 being the highest, I'd probably give it an 8. There are things that could be improved. A volume knob would be nice. But for the price point, it's a nice wireless mic. It gets the job done. And it works for what I need it to do. So this is my review of the Shure PGX4 wireless receiver. And the PGX2 wireless transmitter. So thanks, practice, and enjoy.